Hey guys, and whoa, that was really high pitched. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be doing a full face of makeup that you guys recommended forever ago on Instagram of makeup that is under $5. I believe most of these are under $5 and maybe a couple that are $5, but either way, super affordable, amazing makeup. And a lot of this I have not yet tried, so I'm excited to try out your super affordable recommendations. But before we get into it, obviously I have a different background. For those of you that don't know, my husband and I are in the process of moving. We closed on our house on October 14th, so a week and a half ago. And then we're closing on our new house on October 27th, which is next week, and then moving into that house. So we are currently staying for a couple weeks with my in-laws while we're between homes. That's why I haven't been regularly posting. We are in the process of moving, and all of our stuff is in storage. So I kept some makeup out for this video, specifically to film, but the rest of my makeup is in storage and fingers crossed that doesn't get ruined in this move because I will be so bummed. But I appreciate your patience more than you know. It means so much to me. This channel and you guys mean so much to me. And once we're settled in, I am so excited to get fully back on a schedule, fully back on track. Um, but thank you so much for bearing with me. I don't have a desk or anything in front of me, so I'm gonna be using my LA Girl Break Free eyeshadow palette as my mirror. So if you see this popping up, that's why. So the first recommendation was a foundation and I actually bought this, but I was too chicken to try it because you guys know I have such sensitive skin and I didn't want this to make me break out and regret putting it all over my face. So fingers crossed that it doesn't because we're taking some fall pictures tomorrow. <laughs> so fingers crossed I don't wake up with a face full of blemishes, but I'm willing to risk it for you guys. So. The first product is this AOA Studio Pro Longwear Full Coverage Foundation. Oh, and one more side note, I switched back to my old lens because a couple of you guys were saying that the other one was bothering you with the sounds that it was making when it was focusing, so hopefully this one is better. So this is a $2 foundation from shopmissa.com. If you're not familiar with it, they have super affordable products and there's a lot of good gems on there, but there's also some duds. So you kind of never know what you're gonna get. I love a lot of their brushes. I just opened it, I hadn't even opened this yet. So this will be a first impression for me. And to apply it, I'm gonna be using something that one of you guys recommended for this video, and it's the Sonia Kashuk sponge. One of you guys recommended it, I think this one is actually $5, so I wasn't gonna include it because this is supposed to be under $5. But I have been using this as my go-to sponge. This has become my number one favorite sponge, so for whoever recommended this, huge thumbs up and I highly recommend you guys try this if you're looking for a sponge and it's so cute it's like got this marble pattern I got the shade 0373 sand so hopefully this is a good match so it's just got like a twist off tube and then like a little squirt applicator so I'm gonna just squirt some directly on this sponge and hope it doesn't go everywhere okay kind of got like a thicker consistency I'm just gonna start with that much product and see how far it gets me I think this is actually gonna be a pretty decent match. Oh, maybe not, we'll see. It smells pretty strong. It smells kind of like paint, it smells really chemically. Sort of like the um, Wet n Wild foundations, the Photo Focus foundations that have that pretty strong smell. But it is definitely evening out my skin tone. I'm gonna go ahead and put some more on the sponge because I need to do this side of my face and I don't think that amount is gonna cut it. I have been breaking out because I have been stressing out and I always get bad breakouts when I'm going through like a big life change or just kind of stressed out. And any of you with little ones know that this whole moving process, especially kind of having to move twice and recreate her room twice has been pretty tough because she's got to get used to sleeping in a brand new environment. She's very used to her room and her schedule. Um, so I feel like as soon as she's totally used to it here, we're gonna be like, sorry, psych, we're moving again. But hopefully it won't be too bad. So I'm definitely having to blend this down my neck because it's leaning quite warm on me. It's drying down really matte actually, almost like a powder finish. And I would say it's, I wouldn't call it full coverage. I would say you could definitely build it up to full coverage, but I would say this looks kind of medium right out the gate. It does look pretty nice. I would say if you have dry skin, you're not gonna love this because it definitely is drying down super matte. I can see a little bit of patchiness on some dry areas. But other than that, if you're on a tight budget and want something that's gonna really 
cover your face, build up to full coverage, and it has a huge shade range. Can't go wrong with this. Next up is concealer, and I had a lot of people recommend this. I have tried this one before, it's been around a while, but I have not, I don't think I've used this since I was last doing my YouTube channel before I took that break. Um, so it's been years since I've used this and I just want to see if I still love it. And it's the LA Girl Pro Conceal HD High Definition Concealer. I got mine in porcelain. I actually had trouble picking out my shade. I felt like the shift from porcelain to light was pretty, oh, I just squeezed out too much, was a pretty intense color shift. But I think this porcelain color is actually going to work for me. It's not as fair as I thought. I love this applicator. And I'm going to go in with it because this foundation is a little bit dark for me. So I'm going to try and fix that a little bit with this concealer. Blend out with my trusty sponge. You guys, I cannot say enough good things about this sponge. It is the best. I love this concealer as much as I remember. And I, when I went to go buy this, I was like, how is this still this affordable? It seems like sometimes when super affordable makeup gets really popular you'll notice like a dollar or two uptick in the price because people are willing to pay for it but I feel like this price has not changed and this has been a cult favorite for a while okay and then the powder that I got actually broke in transit it's the essence brighten up banana powder I've never tried this before but it's supposed to be a mattifying compact powder in soft yellow Perfect for baking and to use to highlight the face. So I'm gonna go over where I just put concealer with this powder. I don't know if this broke in transit from Ulta or it might have been me <laughs> packing it. That's more likely. Let me look closer in my mirror, but this just feels like it's going on like so. Definitely mattified that side of my face really nicely. This reminds me of the Rimmel Stay Matte but I'm not seeing a whole lot of brightening going on. Maybe I need to use a little bit more. Yeah, I, okay, so if you use a good amount of the product, you can get a little bit of that brightening effect. And I'm gonna use a light amount over the rest of my face because like I said, the foundation is a little bit dark for me, so if it brightens it up a little bit, I'm not gonna be mad about it. I feel like I am super mattified now. My makeup's not going anywhere because that foundation was already pretty matte. And this, again, is super mattifying. It reminds me of the Rimmel Stay Matte, but a little bit silkier and a little less mattifying than Rimmel Stay Matte, but, but still a super affordable powder. I love Essence and their prices, so thank you for whoever recommended this one as well. I'm always looking for good powders thanks to my super shiny T-Zone. All right, next up, I have got to get these brows going, driving me nuts. So for that, I'm gonna use another Essence product. There are a lot of Essence recommendations, I think because of the price point. Essence just has a ton of amazing stuff under $5. I'm gonna be using the Essence Eyebrow Designer. I got the shade Brown. I love that it comes super, super sharpened, so I'm gonna be able to really define my brows. I don't know that I've ever tried this. If I have, I don't remember it. So I'm just gonna kind of outline the shape of my natural brow. I could seriously go for a wax once this moving process is over. I am in need. I'm just gonna go along the top of the brow. This goes on really smoothly and for the color, I thought it was gonna go on and look a little bit more drawn on than it does because the color is so deep, but I really feel like you can work with this. Now that being said, once this has been dulled down a little bit, I don't know that I would love it as much. Just how pointy this is, I think is what's really giving me those brow-like strokes. So you'd have to get a really good sharpener to maintain the precision. And I'm just gonna do the same thing on this side. I'm really impressed by the pencil. This spoolie, I probably would reach for another spoolie that I have, which I have a ton of other brow pencils with spoolies, so that's not a deal breaker. But it's not my favorite way to blend out the color. But the formula of this, if you like an old school brow pencil, is really, really good. All right, next up, I wanna get some color on my cheeks. And a few of you actually recommended this J-Cat Blush Mallow. It's a soft cream blush. And I've seen people say that this is definitely a dupe for the MAC cream blushes. It's definitely packaged like a MAC product and it's under $5. So I went a little bit vibrant here. <laughs> I don't think I knew just how vibrant I was going, but I wanna feel the texture of this. Ooh, 
that's really hard to describe. It's like a really airy cream. It doesn't feel like a thick or heavy cream. It feels like it's really, really lightweight. So right off the bat, I feel like this would be a good option for those of you with oily skin that are scared off by like the thick cream blushes because this will give you that same effect but with more of a powdery finish. So I'm just going to apply it. I just put a tiny, tiny bit on my uh, brush because this is such a strong color. And I like that I can apply, I don't even know if you guys can see that, I like that I could apply just a tiny bit and get a wash of color or that, we'll see, hopefully I can build it up. Yeah, that builds really nicely. It's not one of those cream blushes that you have to like really blend out. And I like that it goes on top of powder products nicely. So at least when applied with a brush, it goes on really, really sheer, but it's buildable. All right, next up is eyeshadow. And this is another throwback that I didn't even have in my collection anymore. And y'all recommended it repeatedly. And so I went out and bought it and I'm so glad that I did because I remember how much I love this. And it is the, trying to get the sticker off. It is the Wet n Wild Walking on Eggshells palette. This is such an affordable palette and it is such beautiful colors. And for those of you that are new to eyeshadow or don't feel super confident with eyeshadow, I love that these quads are super cohesive and they tell you, like, I don't know if you guys can see, but it says on the actual eyeshadow what you should use it for. Like this one says transition, this one says brow bone, like it tells you where to put what product. So I wanna see if I love this as much as I used to. So I'm gonna start out with that transition color through my crease, definitely a good bit of fallout there. Oh, such a pretty transition color. And this is just the Alter Ego number two brush. And now I'm gonna take my e.l.f. packing brush and use that kind of pinky shade where it says eyelid all over my lid. Oh. I might use this eyeshadow palette for our family pictures tomorrow of a wash of shimmer. It's not too intense. It just gives your eye some definition. All right, now I'm gonna use this Eco Tools brush and this crease color, which this crease color has some shimmer in it, so I wouldn't typically use this in the crease, but I'm gonna follow this, these instructions because I don't think I ever have. But I like that the crease color is like this bronzy shimmer shade that you could use all over your lid as well if you didn't wanna go for the pink that day. So there's options but it looks really nice as a crease color. Wet n Wild knows what they're talking about. And I'm gonna take some of that crease color underneath my eye as well. All right, and then I'm gonna take the brow bone color right here and put it on my brow bone and in my inner corner. I hope this isn't highlighting how badly I need my eyebrows waxed. <laughs> this is such a good inner corner highlight shade for every day. It's not too intense, but it really does open up the eye. All right, next up is the Essence I Love Extreme Volume Mascara. This is another one that I tried forever ago, and when I saw it in my recommendations, I was like, I have got to repurchase that because this used to be one of my favorite mascaras ever. This was in my 2017 Best Drugstore Mascaras, and I don't think I've used it since 2017. So let's see if I still love it. For those of you that don't know, the wand is massive. So I am not gonna be shy, and I'm going to load this on. There's no such thing as too much mascara. This is not one of those mascaras that you have to build and build and build to see anything. This is one coat on each eye and I can already see my lashes getting longer and curling. And you'd think I'd have more trouble getting my bottom lashes coated with this big of a wand, but it's really not bad. Layer two, let's see how this builds up. I feel like my lashes are super separated. You guys see how separated they look? Even though this is such a big, clumpy wand, you'd think that they'd all be sticking together, but somehow it's really getting in between each lash. So second layer built really nicely. I really thought my complaint about this one was gonna be how big the wand is, but I haven't had any trouble applying with this size of a wand. Right as I say that, <laughs> I make a mistake. I'm gonna let that dry before I get it off. So definite thumbs up to this. I feel like I could build this up even more. I think when I go to take off the smudge, I'm gonna add another layer just for fun. But the last product you guys recommended was for lips and it is the e.l.f. 
Seriously Satin Lipstick. I got mine in the shade Nectar, and I've never tried this one before. I love the packaging, and this color looks a little bit out of my comfort zone, but I thought it would look pretty nice with the blush color. So I'm gonna quickly line my lips with this Milani lip liner. They just started hammering right outside this window, so I really hope you guys can't hear that. But I'm gonna go in with this lipstick now over the top of that lip liner. It goes on like butter. I really like this formula. Satin is the perfect way to describe this. It's super comfortable. I can feel that it's on my lips, but it's a super comfortable feeling. And I like this color. It kind of goes with my shirt. I feel like this is a perfect fall vibe lipstick color. So I'm gonna go take this off real quick and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I got rid of the smudge and then I added another layer of mascara and I'm super impressed. So I think the two standout products, I loved all of the products. The one that I probably would not repurchase would be the AOA Studio uh, foundation and that's just because of my skin and my skin needs. But the two that I was probably most impressed by were this Blush Mellow, this J-Cat blush. Because the formula is just so unique, it feels like a cloud. And this mascara, I just re-fell in love with it. I remember why I loved this so much. and. I feel like I could really build it up without it clumping and the big wand did not get in my way at all. I also really love the lipstick. Okay, I just love everything. So <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. I, again, cannot tell you how much I appreciate you bearing with me right now. And I promise great content is coming your way once we are moved in and I can get back on a routine and back on a schedule. And I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. and. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.